So welcome back to the Tokyo Metropolitan Gymnasium. It's the 27th staging of the World Badminton Championships, 45 years after the very first in Malmo in Sweden in 1977. Well, that's what's happened so far on day three of competition. It's second round action of four today. And after that excellent men's singles and Nishimoto coming through in three games, we turn our attention to women's doubles. And we have the number 10 seeds, Pearly Tan and Tina Mura Litoran of Malaysia are up against Kusa Jolly and uh, Gayatri Gopichan Pulela. Well, this is from the third quarter of the draw, and as you can see, the match we are about to watch is right at the top of this uh, quarter. But uh, also in this uh, section, we have the All England champions, Matsuyama and Shida. They're the number five seeds from Japan. And uh, we also have uh, Kim So Young and Kong Hee Yong. They're the number four seeds. They were bronze medalists at the last World Championships and, of course, were Olympic bronze in Tokyo last year. So it is the number 10 seeds, Pearly Tan and Tina Muralitharan against uh, Thrusa Jolly and uh, Gayatri Gopichan Pulela. Well, this will be a fourth meeting between these two pairs, led out by the Indian combination, unseeded, but really burst onto the world st stage when they reached the semi-final of the All England Championships earlier this year. Their opponents recently crowned gold medalists at the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham. And in the semi-final stage, they beat this pair from India. And that, indeed, was the last time that these two pairs met. They also met, incidentally, in the semi-final of the mixed team competition. So the fourth meeting and all three previous encounters won by the Malaysian pair, and all of them in two straight games. Well, Jana, the Indian pair won the toss of the coin but did not choose which end they wished to start because it seemed to me that the Malaysian pair were indicating that they wanted to start at the far end of the court as we will all be looking down during the rallies. Well, the delight from the Malaysian pair when they won the gold medal at the Commonwealth Games. Uh, they were both the winning match in the mixed team competition, the fourth match. And that was against India for the mixed team gold. So two gold medals for the Malaysian players. This is uh, Teresa Jolly, who is only 19 years of age, born in Kerala, and 164. That's just over five foot four. She and her partner are currently number 37 on the world rankings, but they have been three places higher. Playing in their first ever world championships, the two players from India. Gayatri Gopichan Pulela is also 19 years of age, a daughter of two very famous badminton players in India, Lakshmi and Gopichan. And they were bronze medalists at the Commonwealth Games. Lost the semi final, as I was saying, to their opponents of today. But in the first round here, they beat Lo Yin Yuan and Valerie Xiao of Malaysia. Two straight games, very comfortable, as you can see, 11 and 13, just 31 minutes. Uh, they've had a good year. They've been in two finals, one in Odisha and lost in the final of the Said Modi. That was a 
HSBC BWF World Tour event, a 300 event. That was their first ever final at World Tour level. So to Pearly Tan, who is 22 years of age from Kedah, northwest of the Malay Peninsula. And she won 64, same as Teresa Jolly. She and her partner are currently one place down from their career high of 10. And they're making their second appearance at the World Championships. In Huelva last December, they were the number 13 seeds, but they lost at this stage, the last 32. Lost to a pair from Hong Kong, China. But their Commonwealth Games gold medal we saw them earlier in the week here in Tokyo and they were absolutely beaming from ear to ear. Now, by virtue of the fact that they are seeds, they had a bye in the first round in all disciplines other than the men's singles, which is a full draw of 64. All the other draws are only 48 participants per draw. So it's still a draw of 64, but the seeds have a bye. Wahiana from Indonesia is our umpire for this one, and Simon Alman Fung from Hong Kong, China, is our service judge. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right. Perlitan Entina Muralitaran, Malaysia. And on my left, Teresa Jolly and Gayatri Gopichan Pulela, India. Tina Muralitaran to serve to Teresa Jolly. Lobo. Play. So it is the Commonwealth Games gold medalists, the number 10 seeds, Pearly Tan and Tina Murolitharan, far side of the court, who get this second round match underway One. against Teresa Jolly One. and Gayatri Gopichand. Well, I'm delighted to say that, oh dear, that's, oh. I'm not delighted about a, a service error there. I'm delighted to say that Steen Peterson One. is still oh. with us. And Steen, I know you weren't at the Commonwealth Games, but. Uh, it was a, a, certainly a confidence booster for the Malaysian pair. It was one of their targets, and Malaysian pairs have done exceptionally well in the Commonwealth Games. That's the fifth women's doubles gold medal in the last six Commonwealth Games. Yeah, that's impressive. Two, one. That's impressive, but not so surprising because they have been playing well, and um, yeah. Yeah. It's, a, it's a great matchup we have here, I think, because it's um, two of the women's doubles for both the present but certainly also for the future. Um. Yeah, but reflecting on the fact that this Indian pair won the bronze medal at the Commonwealth Games, and that's the fourth consecutive Games where a women's doubles pair from India has medaled. Three, so now I two. think... Malaysia and India are dominant in Commonwealth terms in the women's doubles discipline. Yeah. Go back to my day, that wasn't the case. Isn't it wonderful the way these nations have developed into very good doubles players? Yeah, there's been um, a lot more variety, a lot more nations that can um, compete for the big titles. Oh, that's a beautiful block from Mora Litharan. That's also one. The second pair from Malaysia, Anna Ching Yu Chong and uh, Tiu. That's right. Also through to the second round here. They're not far behind their compatriots here, in my opinion. Chu Yi Wei. Chu Yi Wei. Yeah who actually won a silver at the World Junior Championships with the lady on curl, Pearly Tan. Yeah, and I think she 
went through some surgery with her nose and so on, and that's why they split up as as a pair. And um, that led to two strong pairings. Yeah. Beautiful drop. Oh, uh, well, it was a great recovery from Tina Mother Litheran. This is the wonderful drop. That's great control on the pickup from Tina. This is a very good start by the Malaysians. Yeah, and a little bit of a discussion between the two Indian players. Difficult when you've got youngsters. I mean, they're both still teenagers, aren't they? The two from India, you know, and they played their opponents three times previously, lost yeah. every time in two straight Service games over. to keep the morale up and, and keep them working. But that's the job of the coach, isn't it? That's the job of the coach. And um, you've got to find something that can sort of warrant that it's going to go a different direction this time than uh, the previous ones, with it being these playing conditions, um, the video, the analysis, the tactical skills, the improvement in uh, some part of the game, but it's not that long ago since they played them the last two times. It's only, yeah. uh, what month. is it, th two, three weeks? Yeah. So, going to come up with some kind of self-confidence booster. One of the things could be to say, yeah, but uh, it's a good thing that we played them twice recently because we've got to practice in terms of uh, what we need to do to beat them. Yeah. But they started really well, um, Tan and Tina, in terms of um, also that they're playing uh, the slow side, playing up against the drift. Um, Jolly and uh, Gopichan haven't really gotten as much out of their attack as I would have expected. Great interception from Pearly Tan. They immediately apologizes for hitting her opponent. But 11 for the advantage in just six minutes here at the mid game interval. Oh, the game. Absolutely hunting that shuttle. That wasn't easy, I can assure you. Wonderful play from Pearly Tan. And Tian Hao. Snap in the racket. Okay? Start from the beginning, love all here. Okay? <laughs> Yes, but right from the beginning, level. Yeah. We're 11 4, young man. Yeah. <laughs> and that, that, that's a man on the outside was boosting right. of self, or oozing of self confidence, Matthias. But I don't think he always on the inside felt the same way. But yeah. um, so he should be able to, if he can share like 10% of his self confidence and belief, then uh, they will Five. be well off, Jolly <laughs> and Gorbachev. Uh, 
I think one of the problems is uh, Tan and, and Tina, they, they're playing a very good also rotational game. They're not, mm. they're not set on one formation. Um, they can do what, what the situation needs, so to speak. Sometimes the uh, conditions uh, makes it better than, um, and the opponents makes it better than. But uh, Peritana is the uh, front court player. Sometimes it's better that she goes to the back and uh, Tina takes care of the front court. The Indians, they don't have that possibility yet because uh, Kayatri Gopichan is not strong enough yet. Is she going to be it? I'm certain she is. We followed Polera Gopichan her father's career, both as a player and as a coach, so I'm certain that she's going to be strong enough. And, yes. and uh, when they can rotate more, they will become more dangerous. Service over. Seven, twelve. Yeah, just slightly like mistimed that. Things it went under the net, not over. Oh, it's a beautiful drop. Steen, I don't know whether you got to watch any of the Commonwealth Games final, but Pearly Tan was absolutely on fire. She was playing disguised drop shot winners uh, from it appeared anywhere on the court. Yeah, yeah. It was just extraordinary. I, I saw some of it. I'm, I'm not sure exactly what I saw, whether it was the semi final or, or the final, or maybe a bit of each. But um, she's always very, very proactive. And when, when she finds the right um, um, sort of the line between too much and too little, then it's absolutely amazing, Patmanson. Oh, that's well worked. Yeah. That's so well worked by the Malaysians. 14, 7. Well, women's doubles is the only discipline of the five where Malaysian players and pairs have never won a medal. And that's despite having the number one seeds one year. And that year that they had the number one seeds was 2009 in Hyderabad, 13 years ago. And the number one seeds were Chinni Hui and Wong Pei Ti. Yeah. And they lost in the last 16 to Maeda and Suitsuna. Yeah, I think the um, world ranking list was constructed yeah. a little bit differently yeah, uh, back then. And even though they were number one on the world ranking list, they were never, in my opinion, the world's best pair. Uh, there a number of uh, Danish That's nice play. combinations earlier on who reached number one on the world Eight. ranking list in men's doubles. 15. They were never the world's best pair. Yeah, but you've got to go on, on what was in place at the time. Exactly. You'll be arguing that I was never number one in the world over our cup of tea later, won't you? <laughs> I, I don't think I dare to uh, argue that. <laughs> seconds, you duck yourself a hole there, Steve. Yeah. Service over. 16, 8. No, but it's an interesting perspective because it depends how many plays the tournament, how is yep. it constructed, is it a, uh, a certain number of tournaments? If it's very few tournaments, 17, um, then it's eight. easier to um, benefit from a few good results and so on. Well, we can see how rankings have been distorted right now because yeah. of the freezing exactly. of the world ranking because of the global pandemic and it's not a realistic reflection on players and pairs capabilities I discussed it earlier today with um, our colleague that um, 
uh, I feel that World Championship must have some other form of qualification than only the world ranking. I mean, yeah, I heard that, and I agree with you. It, it's it's just uh, not good that we have pairs competing here who's not competing anymore. They've broken up. 19. Yeah, I agree. Eight. Got to find another system to add to the current system. Yes. Two points away from the opening game. The Malaysians. Angle. Game point opportunities. Twenty. All host of them. Eight. and Murlitharan. Oh, they're going to challenge that. challenges called Oh, you might as well. Oh, so many game point opportunities. Maybe you're wrong. Probably well, doesn't matter that you've only got one challenge remaining. No. If you're wrong, here we go. And they were wrong. It's a great call by the right, judge. Oh, and they were right, I beg your pardon. That's First game a very, Ryan very good challenge. 21-8 in 14 minutes and a superb opening game by the Commonwealth Games gold medalists Poli Tan and Team Wadda Lithuania. <laughs> Then we just start like doing this. Each and every rally, we start just like loosen up a little bit, and then we focus, and then we are hot on. We don't panic. There's no reason to panic, okay? But we need to forget this first set here now, and we need to focus on the right thing. Relax yourself between the rallies. Get your feet moving. Snap it early. In the defense, we're also stepping forward. We're moving. Mid-court, we're stepping forward. Forward in the defense, and we're at the net, we're also ready to move, okay? So we move all the time. Even if we don't have it, if Gaia has it, you still move. We don't stand still. Light on the feet. If they block it in front of us, we lift high. High, 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 and then we stand ready to counter the defense. We don't lift flat. Because if we lift high, even though it's too short, they will not hit it through us. So we lift high, and then we're ready to step into it. If we feel a little insecure, that's fine. Block it straight. Simple block, ready with the racket and angle the next block. And then when we build up to the chance, as we talked about, they're getting one extra over. We know that. We know they're getting one extra over, so we're ready to follow up. Trees are in at the net, Gaia follow up in the other side. Yeah, they're not going to give us anything. We need to work for it. Reset here, full focus. So the players return to court, ready for the start yeah. of this second game. A very convincing opening game by the number 10 seeds, Burley Tan and Tina Mora Litharan. 21 8 in just 14 minutes. Second game. Love all. Play. Well, if you were with us during the interval there he will have heard Matthias Bo urging his players oh. to stay relaxed they keep moving the feet move forward always move all the time even if you're not moving towards the shuttle you've got to have movement uh, also uh, talked about lifting high it's the former coach of uh, Keiko Sonoda <laughs> <laughs> always <laughs> move yes yeah he talked about lifting high oh that's a wild serve from Tina to um, to sort of avoid short lifts to be punished by the Malaysians um, if they don't get the right length on it. So by lifting high, he would sort of um, 
ask for help of uh, the lack of timing since it's dropping down vertically. Two, one. Tain is just a little bit better in that situation. Jolly sees the opportunity, but she's playing from below the tape. And Politan senses that, okay, she comes forward with the backhand. She's below the tape. This is going to go to my backhand as well, and takes the chance, and that's great read. Oh, she's run off to change her racket. She's back. Now oh, that's extraordinary. They've won the Three, round as well. Two. Oh, what was even more extraordinary was that when she ran back onto court, Mura Litharan, she ran to the other s yeah, side yeah, of the yeah. court. Not to disturb her partner, who was busy winning the rally. That's amazing. Yeah, she could have stayed out there. <laughs> they would have won it anyway. <laughs> Oh, that's beautifully taken. Five. It's a dilemma Four. for the Indian pair, isn't it, Steam? Because, you know, you don't want them to go passive on the return of serve. You don't want them to be passive during... I do. I want them to be passive because they're losing every time here. The Malaysians are reading it better than them. So right now they're losing a lot of points. So let's start not losing points. Yeah, but at some stage you've got to start figuring out how you're going to win points. Yes, exactly. But but that's the, the moment that you try to win points makes you lose points. Well, so it's like it's like Matthias Bo saying you've got to relax. I yes. mean, it, 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 you can't you, relax. You can't relax, and no. especially when it's drawn to your attention. It's like somebody saying, "Think of anything you want, but don't think of an elephant." Of course, you think of an elephant. Yeah, I do. Um, and, and, and the thing is, I mean, if they really want to go for the short services, they, they must go much, much more decisive Seven, than what we see now. And, and that's where I'm coming from. Yeah. Because they, I don't think they should be <coughs> passive, but the, what they're doing at the moment isn't good enough. No. So that's the dilemma. You've got to be more committed on the return of yeah. serve. Now look at that, far yeah. more commitment. Yes, but, but the, it's one of the problems that they, they Five, need seven. a certain formation with Jolly at the back, Gubicen at the net to have a chance and they need to have the attack as well. Whereas the Malaysians, they are much more versatile. They can rotate better, they are faster. Uh, it's, it's the physicality. Um, so, and, and, and um, the way I see it, Politan reads the game uh, best of all four players. So um, she's creating so many uh, opportunities. It was again yeah. quick to follow it up. And, and that means that over. I would Eight. avoid it's a little bit like, um, ah, and that's perhaps not, but a little bit like when you play Indonesian men's doubles and so on. And, and 
service situation and flat game try to avoid it most of the time yeah so here make sure that you're not in a bad position that was a reasonable example not a really good one but but what about trying to trick the Malaysians to attack at us when we are in a good defensive position instead of us being caught uh, out of position but so far scoring wise they've been uh, doing much better here in the second game Kopechan and uh, Jolly. That's a oh, lovely shot. serve. Uh, I think it was um, too short. If you make your opponent play, it's yeah. a jolly good serve. It is. Oh, good lo shot. Lovely punch there. Oh, lucky neck cord. But she created her own luck there, Pearly seven Tan. Song. Being in the right place at the right time. Nine, seven. At the moment, Kobichan comes out from the net. They lost the initiative. That's not going to happen against any pair because sometimes the formation is strong enough, and that's why they're such a good pair. They were in the semi final of the All England and so on. Yeah. But, but against this pair here, it's a weakness. Good rally. Yeah, it was a fantastic rally. Longest rally of the match, too, I'm pretty certain. This is terrific. My goodness. Oh, yeah. oh, that's amazing. Cross court Seven. net shot from Seven. Tina Mura Litheran. Played to perfection. Look at that. Force the short lift. And it's got to be the longest rally of the match so far. Yes, indeed. 49 shots. Oh, that's good defense. I like that. No, we're getting some very good rallies now. Yeah. I think the idea was okay. Execution not to match. So. A four-point advantage, 11-7 in the second game, having already won the first. Got one twenty seconds. Got one twenty seconds. Well, the gestures of Hun Tian Hao. Okay. So move all the time. 
Move the feet all the time and put in the work. That's all I caught from Matthias Bo. But the gestures from Hun Tian Hao seem to be about if you're on the defence, try and move your opponent at the back of the court from side to side. There seem to be gestures yeah. indicating that. Yeah, that would either force a weak reply or uh, that you can um, play a defensive counter on or a lift where you can attack. And I don't think um, Tanantino are afraid of attacking uh, here from well, this near side against uh, Kovicana and Jolly. That was a third service error by Tina Muro Litharan. Oh, that's delightful. They're so creative, aren't they? I know you and I have talked about this Malaysian pair in the past when, uh, you know, they were just showing potential. Now they are uh, maybe not contenders for the big titles yet, but they're getting very close. And you and I like their style of play, like the fact that they're creative. Yeah. It depends on the um, on the conditions. I don't think these conditions here in the long run is going to benefit them. We're going to have potentially a tough match against Matsuyama and Shida if they get through this round here. Challenged on game point in the open game, and they were right. See if it caught the line here. No, no they're wrong this time. Good call, line judge. Challenge not successful. One challenge remaining. Service over. Nine, twelve. Play. Oh, well anticipated. That's lovely by Gayatri Kulela. Ten, twelve. Well, oh, they're in touching distance, and that's much, much better than the opening game where they were really not in it to a certain extent. Eleven, One point the 12. deficit now. Trying the block and 13, moving forward. 11. Uh, treat. Uh, they have to be very accurate, the blocks. You see Politan was already moving towards it. 14, 11. Lucky net court. Fifteen eleven. Sixteen. Uh, it's solid 11. defense though from the Malaysians, I think the Indian pair. Perhaps a little frustrated that their good attacking shots kept coming back. Tried to make it tighter and tighter. Oh. That's perfect placement of the smash. 17, 11. <laughs> 
Yeah, Djokovic then looking out at the two coaches, both of them lifting their arm to show that you should just put it away. The problem is you need a certain strength in your forearm yeah. to do that. You need to be strong in your legs, you need to move fast, and I think that's sort of a development so also in uh, a lot of the doubles disciplines. The athleticism has increased. Defended the ones two down her forehand side Jordan with the backhand Dean. defense, and then when so they smashed team. at her backhand side, she missed it. Shot there from Politan. You accept that, though, with adventurous players, don't you? As a coach, you, you know you're going to get a, a few wild ones within a match. Most of them, yeah. So this over. 18, 14. So three points away from a place in the third round for Pearly Tan and Tina Mura Lithuan. It's gone wide. 19, 14. Oh, not again. That's extraordinary. That's three 20, or four she's yeah. had. Match point 14. Now, the luck with the Malaysians. And now six match point opportunities. Four. Service over. 15, 20. Sixteen twenty. Crikey, uh, three errors. Seventeen. Two on the return 20. of serve. And they can't default that if they're going to play, for instance, Matsuyama and Shida later on in the tournament. Yeah. Because they won't get as many back. We'll get some. Not as many. Get. This time. On the fourth match point opportunity. 21 17 the second game. 35 minutes in total for the match. Match won by Perlitan and Dina Moralitaran. 21 8. 21 17. Well, it's always nice to get the first match under your belt with a good performance. And it was a good performance. Opening game, they were totally dominant. But if they are to play the All England champions, Matsuyama and Shida, in the third round, then they have definitely got to cut out some of those careless errors. A confirmation of the score, 21-8, 21-17 in 35 minutes. So they take leave of centre stage. And we look 
look forward to our next match, which is men's singles, and it features the silver medalist from the last World Championships, the number 12 seed Kadambi Shrikanth, against the left-handed Xiaojun Peng of China.